Jose Clemente Orozco fue un pintor mexicano. Nació el 23 de noviembre de 1883 y muerto el 7 de septiembre de 1949. Vive en Zapatalan, el Grande, México, su nombre es Ciudad Guzmán Ahora, cuando fue pequeño. Su padre es Arenio Orozco. Él fue un hombre de negocios. Su madre es María Rosa Orozco. Ella fue un trabajador de casa y a veces canto para dinero. Anuque sus padres tienen trabajas. La familia Orozco fue muy pobre. José Clemente Orozco tiene dos hermanos. Cuando José fue 17, perdió su mano en un accidente de fuegos artificiales. Él fue influenciado por el mexicano dibujante José Guadalupe Posada. José Guadalupe Posada tuvo cuadros en un tienda de arte en la ciudad de Guzmán. Cuando Orozco fue a pie después de las clases, miró a la obra de José Guadalupe Posada. Orozco pensamiento el arte de José Posada fue muy bueno. Orozco habla una vez detener y mirar a Posada para algunos minutos encantados. Un otro influencio de Orozco es la Revolución de México. Durante la Revolución fue mucho conflicto y problemas. José Clemente Orozco pintó los problemas de México a intentar y arreglar los problemas. José Clemente Orozco was one of the three main Mexican muralists during the time of the Mexican Revolution. Orozco urged artists to reject cultural domination of Europe because of the war that was going on there, and to use Mexican traits in their artwork. Uh, he always explored Mexican themes, used Mexican traits in his work as well. Orozco was less popular in Mexico than Diego Rivera because his paintings sharply criticized Mexico, where Diego Rivera's work was all good about Mexico. Orozco was trying to improve the nation by pointing out its problems. He was also not as popular because art in Mexico and the, uh, was so important and it was even used by the government. The people didn't like how he pointed out the problems. Orozco painted paintings of suffering and despair, conflict during a period of time where there was a lot of conflict. The Mexican Revolution, which lasted from 1910 through the 1920s, was full of conflict. Orozco's work revealed the sadness and horror of the revolution. The people might not have realized how important the artwork was because people all over the globe could see the sadness and despair of fighting one another. Orozco's murals displayed Mexico's own corruption during the time period. One of Orozco's most common characteristics was human suffering. He was mostly influenced by symbolism. Orozco was not comfortable with the bloody mess that the revolution was, so his work showed dead bodies, human suffering, slaves, and harsh situations. The Zapatistas uh, was painted by Orozco in 1931. In this piece by Orozco, a group of people called Zapatistas are taken uh, to a prison camp. The man in front is thought to be Emiliano Zapata, a revolutionary leader. Zapistas were his peasant followers and they follow him on their way to a prison camp. The men are seen with bayonets and dressed in traditional Mexican clothing. So are the women. This piece was done with oil on canvas, which is rare for Orozco. It resembles his strong feelings against revolutions. Father Hidalgo was painted by Orozco in 1937. Miguel Hidalgo was a hero of Mexican's War of Independence. Back in the 1800s, he helped Mexico gain independence. Uh, the mural was painted on the staircase of Guadalajara's government palace. The painting shows Hidalgo holding a torch over piles of dead bodies, dead bodies lost in Mexico's independence fight. All around the strong image of Hidalgo are struggles the Mexican people faced, including the church, a revolution, and communism. The torch is also thought to represent life for their future. 
Roscoe used symbolism in most of his paintings. Man of Fire was created in 1939 in the Cabenas Institute in Mexico. He has 57 frescoes painted here, and the most impressive is El Hombre de Fuego, Man of Fire. The figure in the middle is a flaming man ascending upward, with a bunch of dark, spiritual-like humans watching as he proceeds to ascend. The spiritual figures represent his countrymen and their suffering. The fireman is supposed to represent how death can change into rebirth. It also represents how that the human body can take a lot of suffering, but its spirit and, act and actions always stay on.